Yes, I can. A girl and her wheelchair. This is Carolyn. Like many kids her age, Carolyn loves animals, castles, and building with blocks. She is helpful to her mom and dad, and even to her baby brother. Carolyn started a new school this year. She thinks her teacher seems nice, and she's getting to know her classmates. The other students are curious about Carolyn because she uses a wheelchair. When she was born, her body did not work like most people's. She cannot use her legs to walk, but she can do almost everything at school, even when she needs to do things a bit differently. She joins right in during reading time. The teacher asks if the children can think of words that rhyme with cat. Carolyn says, yes, I can. She's excited to add to the list. Hat, pat, splat. Sometimes Carolyn can do what the other kids do with just a little bit of help. At circle time, Carolyn wants to sit on the carpet with her classmates. Her teacher helps her get out of her wheelchair. When her teacher asks if she can come up to help with the morning song, Carolyn says, yes, I can. Instead of walking, Carolyn uses her hands to scoot on her bottom to get to the front of the class. The first few times, the other students stared because they had never seen a kid move like this. But now they're used to it and they hardly notice. When the students return to their desks, the teacher asks, who would like to feed Toffee? Carolyn raises her hand up high, but the teacher picks Jack to feed the class bunny. She says, Carolyn, you can hand out these papers to the class. It's hard to fit her wheelchair between the desks and the chairs, and it's frustrating, but Carolyn says, yes, I can. At lunchtime, Amira asks if Carolyn can eat with her. Carolyn says, yes, I can. Carolyn and Amira travel in line with their class to the cafeteria. Carolyn pulls her wheelchair up to the lunch table. Amira sits on the end so that Carolyn can sit right next to her. Carolyn shares the cookies she baked at home with her dad. Today is a super fun day because Carolyn's class is taking a field trip to the bowling alley. Sarah asks if Carolyn can ride the bus with them. Carolyn says, yes, I can. Carolyn's teacher has a special bus come. Carolyn gets to ride up the rear elevator made just for wheelchairs. At the bowling alley, Justin asks if Carolyn can bowl. Carolyn says, yes, I can. Carolyn asks Justin to help him up the ramp, sorry, to help set up the ramp at the end of the lane. She needs someone to lift the heavy ball up to the top of the ramp, but then she can push the ball down the alley. Everyone in the class wants a turn using the ramp. One of Carolyn's new school friends, Jasmine, invites the, all the classmates to her birthday party on Saturday. Carolyn's mother tells her that the party is at a trampoline gym. You won't be able to join the other kids jumping, but you can go to the party and watch. Carolyn says, yes, I could. The other kids are having so much fun on the trampoline that they hardly talk to Carolyn. She's feeling pretty sad and lonely and thinking maybe she should have stayed home. Then Jasmine's aunt walks in with Jasmine's little cousin, Tina. Tina is about the same age as Carolyn's brother. 
And Carolyn knows that babies love playing peekaboo. She's feeling pretty bored. So Carolyn starts to play with the baby. Soon, baby Tina begins laughing. Two girls leave the trampoline park and come over to play with the baby too. At home, after the party, Carolyn tells her mom how she felt left out at first, but that in the end, she was glad that she went. Her mom tells Carolyn that she's proud of her for finding ways to have a good time, even though there's things she can't do. That's okay, says Carolyn. There's lots. There's a lot I can do, and my new friends are really great. The next day at recess, the kids are having a running race. A boy from the other class calls out, she can't run, so she can't play. Carolyn feels sad and left out. <sighs> I don't know how I can. Jimmy says, yes, you can. Carolyn, you can be the referee. That's an important job because you get to announce who wins each race. Carolyn is glad when she can be part of things, even if she can't do everything the other kids can. That night, Carolyn tells her dad how Jimmy helped her join in with the others. Well, Carolyn, I'm glad your new friends can find ways to help you play with them. Carolyn says, yes, they can. Pause and read a note to parents, caregivers, and teachers, if interested.